For a time, smoke and ozone left Minnesota blanketed with the worst air in the entire country. WCCO's Jason Rantala picks up our team coverage with how dirty air can impact everyone's health. Ominous skies and hazy air have disrupted normally fun summer activities, a surprise for Minnesotans. Yeah. And visitors like this girls' volleyball team here for nationals. Probably a good thousand or so girls here. From Amarillo, Texas. It was really hard to breathe and see. It was really musty. If you spent any sort of time out there yesterday, it just wasn't good for your health. Just ask WCCO meteorologist Joseph Dames. Minnesota usually sees good air. Yesterday was unhealthy for everyone. We were just two levels down from the absolute worst air. Yesterday in the peak moment where it was at its worst, we were pushing the upper hundreds to 200 level around the area, which is unhealthy. Everybody's going to feel the impacts of that. Dr. Zeke McKinney is an occupational environmental physician at Health Partners. In conditions like this, he says they see an uptick in primary care visits with cold-like symptoms, even shortness of breath. You're seeing people who have no lung problems suddenly feeling like, wow, I'm feeling a little crummy with this. As for long-term effects from this short-term bad air? I think it's highly unlikely. Uh, more likely, it would just, you know, in the short term, make people feel a little bit crummy. You know, maybe feel like you want to blow your nose or, or use a nasal spray or something like that. No, we just sucked it up and just kept on going. <laughs> With better air today, Tammy and the team are hoping to take in some Minnesota fun. We can't wait. We're going to go look at the waterfalls. We might go hit the baseball game tonight. So we're having a great time. Jason Rantala, WCCO News. The air quality index runs from zero to 500. The higher the number, the higher the amount of air pollutants and health concerns. 50 or below is good air quality, and anything over 300 is considered downright hazardous.